Hello and welcome at 3D Printing Passion. Today I'm talking about creasing the threaded spindle on the set axis. Before I start, I would like to say that the correct creasing of the spindle is a matter of faith. And many have their own philosophy from not treating it at all to rocket science. It's just all there. Some use motor oil, others PTFE crazes, the next highly specialized industrial crease. I see the spindle of a 3D printer as a simple spindle that doesn't need to withstand high pressure, special acceleration or extraordinary temperatures. So I guess I'm somewhere in the pragmatic middle. Whether right or wrong, everyone must decide for himself. Therefore, as always, copy at your own risk. First point of contact for maintenance questions should be the manufacturer or the manual. Feel free to write me your preferred variant of oiling or creasing the spindle in the comments. I personally use a silicone crease, but have also used sawing machine oil which at least, so I felt, did not last quite as long. Basically, however, both work perfectly. I first clean and decrease the spindle with a lint-free cloth. And if it's very dirty, I also clean it with 100% isopropanol. If necessary, I also use an old toothbrush to clean the grooves, if it's too difficult to remove dust or other dirt. I have never had to remove the spindle completely, but depending on the degree of contamination, this may be advisable to remove coarse dirt more easily. After the removal of oil and dirt, the spindle should be oiled or creased again as soon as possible to prevent rust from forming. To do this, I crease it lightly at three, or in this case of larger printers, at four points, and then move the set axis up and down several times. This distributes the lubrication over the entire axis, ensures smooth running, and protects the spindles from rust, and that for a long time. I do not do this more often than maybe once a year. Don't forget to oil or grease your spindle also in the top and lower area where the portal cannot arrive the spindle and is not able to distribute the lubrication over it. That's for me today. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please leave me a like. If you want to see me again, click on the subscribe button and then on the bell to don't miss any new videos. Thank you very much. Happy printing. See you next time. Bye.